this an ePortfolio tutorial, Removing Evidence. This video will guide you through the process and explain how to remove a piece of evidence assigned to a learner through ePortfolio as the Centre Administrator. Assumptions. You have access to ePortfolio. You are a Centre Administrator. If you are a multi-role user, you have selected the Centre Administrator from the Active Role menu. You have uploaded a piece of evidence which contravenes your internal policies, procedures and or the Data Protection Act. Log in to ePortfolio. From the home screen, select Menu at top left, then select Learners. You will now be brought to the Learner screen. The following information is available. Learner. This is the learner's name. Enrolment date. Date the learner was enrolled on the qualification. Registration number. The number your learner was assigned when registering them with the relevant awarding body and you or your centre administrator has chosen to add this to the system when adding the learner in ePortfolio. It's an optional field you can use to help identify your learners. Qualification. Title of the qualification. Assessor. Name of the assigned assessor. Achieved. A progress bar showing what the learner has achieved. You are able to narrow the search down by using the search feature at top right. Locate the learner and the qualification that the associated piece of evidence attachment relates to and click on the learner's name. From the learner's summary page, click View Learner's Assessment at top right. You are brought to the learner's assessment screen. The following information will be displayed. Title. Title given to the piece of evidence. Submitted. Day and time the evidence was submitted. Assessed. Date and time the evidence was assessed. Sampled. The date and time the assessment was internally verified. Next, locate and select the relevant piece of evidence. You are now brought to the evidence screen. This screen gives a breakdown of the evidence which has previously been uploaded. You are able to see the assessment decisions, learner comments, internal verifiers feedback as well as any evidence or attachments. Locate the attachment you wish to remove and click on the red cross. Then. Click Yes to confirm you wish to remove the attachment. Once the screen has refreshed, you will notice the attachment is no longer visible. Note, if you use this feature often, rather than attach the evidence, you can reference the external source as you would a paper-based portfolio, where the assessor, IV, and or external quality advisor, EVSV, can access it should they need to. This way, you don't need to have any concerns as to whether this breaches your internal policies and or procedures or at worst, the Data Protection Act. 